because the Mercedes are leading, they're, they're leading everyone out. Yeah. And Mercedes are not worried about slipstreaming. So everyone tucking in once again behind Lewis Hamilton. Bottas doing his own thing in, into Lesmo 2. Hamilton's just coming into Lesmo 1. And he's got everyone else in the field behind him. In Q3, Mercedes might be more fussed about the toe. And that's where we're going to see more shenanigans. But right now, the best place, man, is Nicholas Latifi just tucked in behind the six-time champ on the way down towards Ascari. But they're all too close here, aren't they? As they come down the back straight towards Ascari, they're they'll, all they'll just within spread a out. second. Yeah, they're, they're a bit too close, but they should all spread out. Raikkonen passes Albon into Ascari. That's not what Albon needs either. Kimi Raikkonen coming through. He's got George Russell just behind him. Big bunch of cars. But this is where you get the issue. When they start to spread out and they start to have to really slow down on the run towards Parabolica, that's where you get sketchy with your... Oh, as Raikkonen has to uh, avoid the back of Esteban Ocon. That's where you get close with this cutoff time. I feel like this minimum lap time is makes it more dodgy than anything else. But... Here we go, round the final. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nonsense as they start this lap. George Russell is going to go wheel to wheel with Kimi Raikkonen. They're coming across the start finish straight all within a second of each other. Albon's in trouble. He's got Giovinazzi trying to pass him across the line. This is bonkers with one minute to go. Everyone's racing into turn one. Albon's going side by side with Raikkonen. They're nearly having contact. And Albon's completely stuck in this group. He Vettel's there as well. Vettel at the moment is in 17th to going out. But are any of those drivers in the back there going to improve? Vettel is in really big trouble, as you say. Raikkonen's got the slipstream on Ocon. Tries to look to the inside. Ocon defends him. Raikkonen going to the outside down into the chicane. This is so... Is this Sunday? Have I... Has something gone up? And... Julian, if only this was Sunday, Formula 1 would be exciting. Like... <laughs> They're all wheel to wheel and, and fighting with each other. Up through turn seven now. Latifi is improving here. It's Albin's Le out. Albin's not improving. He's done. Latifi is improving. A better middle sector for Nicholas Latifi. Who could beat Alex Albin and knock him out in Q1? Vettel is not improving, I don't think, either. Vettel's going to be out. I don't think anyone is, apart from Nicholas Latifi, but he's got to find an awful lot of time. Raikkonen backs off at the moment, 14th, and that may well be enough. So... Bottas across the line, takes the chequered flag. Hamilton improved on that last lap for what it's worth. But Grosjean, Latifi doesn't improve enough. So Grosjean, Vettel, Giovinazzi and Russell are surely going to be eliminated here. Me guys, what up? It's part of qualifying. Absolute disaster for the Scuderia. Giovinazzi remains in 18th position, 19th for George Russell. Grosjean pits, everybody pits at the end of that lap. And is the the, uh, the minimum time? The max. I should be saying maximum time, by the way. That's why I'm I'm getting that the wrong. It's a maximum lap time, isn't it? A one minute forty three is the slowest yes, you yeah. can do. So it's a maximum lap time, to be clear. A maximum lap time. That's what caused the drama in the end, because no one could slow down to give themselves the the adequate margin to the car ahead. They all had time to the checkered flag, but not to the delta. What a mess. Why did the Alphas have to overtake everybody? So, we have got... Uh, yes, hello, sorry about that. We've just had a very dramatic end to the first part, of, uh, first part of qualifying because Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari is eliminated. They're all trying to get the slipstream and it meant that no one could improve at the end of the session. So, Grosjean, Vettel, Giovinazzi, Russell and Latifi eliminated from the first part of qualifying. Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari will start 17th on the grid tomorrow for their home Grand Prix. A real disaster. We got full commentary of this noisy sport over on Sports Extra. Yeah, apparently had a five live update there. That was good, wasn't it? Smooth. So that was as smooth as the end of that qualifying session. It just fitted perfectly into five live. Yeah. Albin got away with that. Really got away with that by three hundredths over Grosjean because no one behind him improved and he didn't improve either. He would have been unlucky in some ways to go out with a lap time deleted, but he's in a Red Bull that shouldn't be in that uh, in that position in the first place. Doesn't count for anything now, though. What are they going to do for Q2? They, they had it good that time because the Mercedes were leading everyone out. They didn't have to worry about who was in front. They knew who was in front. I had a rejected up shift. Okay, the exit of five. understood. We'll look at it. And the track is extremely dirty. Understood, understood.